interesting issue is when you invite a minister to come and provide information on a transaction that that minister has been involved in, what should be the way that you handle that process? How do you handle that process? And I'm saying that resorting to Order 72 does not enable a thorough and appropriate examination of the issues that the minister has brought to us. What the speaker should have done, in my opinion, and that was what I was struggling to catch his eye so that he would uh, allow me to draw his attention to, is for him to have said, the minister has come to make a statement. He has brought us the documents that we have requested for. So he will order the table office to distribute the documents to all the members of parliament and ask us to go and study the documents to see whether it satisfies us or not. Remember that it's a request for information. We're not meeting to debate the conduct of the minister. That's not what we're meeting to do. We're meeting to receive information from the minister. When we take the information and we go and study the information and then out of our analysis of the documents and his statement, we notice violations of any procedural requirements under any law, then that becomes the grounds for you to come back to the house with substantive motions.